Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have this box to unbox today. There will also be a few sneaker unboxings in this video. I just haven't picked up two pairs, so I need to go to up their store at some stage. But today, I received a parcel from my subscriber, so big shout out to Anson in Singapore. I actually kind of know what's in here because I shipped some stuff to his place probably over a year ago now when Human Mate was doing the collab with Cause and they didn't ship to Australia at the time so I would like just panic ship stuff to people <laughs> because I just needed an address so I shipped some stuff to him I shipped some stuff to my brother in Singapore as well and finally um, the parcel is now here it took so long mainly because it was my fault because I kind of forgot about it so thank you so much Anson for going through the trouble to shipping these to me it's a pretty heavy box and he did say he included a few little extra goodies so I'm really really excited I'm not gonna lie though shipping was pretty expensive um but anyway we're here now so let's get into the unboxing by the way guys i don't know how i feel about my hair so i've been doing it this way for the last few weeks because i am kind of lazy when it comes to styling my hair so i usually just straighten my hair but i'm trying not to use too much heat on my hair because it's so processed so yeah i've been doing this little braid situation it's probably really messy at the back but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Does this look weird? I'm not sure. Also, oh my god, wait. Also, on another topic, do you guys like my jumper that I'm wearing? It is this Nike cable knit jumper. I posted a photo on Instagram and I really love it. Am I the only person? When I first saw photos of it, I was like, this is so cute. I think because it's unexpected because you don't expect it to be like a Nike sort of cable knit jumper. So yeah, I highly recommend it. It does fit quite big. This is a size small. It also comes in black. But anyway, back to this parcel. Let's just get into it. So the first thing I see is something that I bought a while ago now. I actually can't remember when I placed the original order for these human made things but this one I shipped it to my brother's address in Singapore and when it arrived it came in the biggest human made box and my brother was like what did you buy? Like, Can you stop sending stuff just random stuff to my address? But anyway it was this cushion look at this this is so cute so you guys know that I love human made and this is the course collab so you can see that it says cause made on one side and then on the other side it just says human made so I also have the little duck plushie but he's just in my room at the moment but this would look very cute on my couch actually let's put it on the couch right now it is actually a lot bigger than I expected you guys know that I just tend to panic buy things online when it comes to like certain releases so I didn't even look at the dimensions but when I saw it I just knew that I really really wanted it so let's put him wait you can't really see let's put him like here does that look kind of cute oh no I can't tell it's quite big is it meant to sit this way okay what am I okay let's just move on <laughs> to the next thing I'm focusing way too much on this cushion but he is very cute the next thing, there's so many things, oh my god, okay. So, let me lift this up so I can show you guys. Ugh. Look at this, there's like a lot of goodies in here. So I can see some lollies. So these ones here are the Yupi or Yuppi burger gummies. So this is actually really nostalgic to me. When I was growing up in Malaysia when I was a kid, I used to eat this all the time. And so thank you so much for including these. You guys can see this is what it looks like. It's like a little burger gummy. I'm gonna have one right now. And it comes in like three little layers. Hopefully I don't drop it. This is so cute. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Was it a good idea to eat this while filming? Just give me one moment. Okay, the next thing I can see is... Oh my gosh, so it is the Uno. I can see Murakami and Uno. Murakami had a collaboration with Uno cards. And I remember seeing this on Hypebeast thinking, this is definitely something that I would want to buy, but I didn't actually try to get it. So thank you so, so much. And tonight, so did not expect this to be in here. 
Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Look at this. Okay, let's open it up. I don't even know where they dropped this. Like, was this an online release or was this like in store? I should probably look it up a bit more. Did you guys play Uno growing up? Like, it's Uno still a thing. I'm sure it is, but I remember I loved it when I was growing up. Look at this. This is so cute. So, there's like a little paper thing in here. What is this? Everything is packaged so nicely that. I don't want to like rip anything open, but I probably am going to ruin this. I'm doing it very carefully, guys. Okay, success. What is in this little Murakami thing? What is this? <laughs> is it just like a little bit of... Oh, wait, wait. It opens? Okay. <laughs> I think it's just a little printout of like the Murakami flower print i think that's pretty cute they wrapped it so nicely they wrapped this thing in this thing okay anyway back to what we're here for i just really want to look at some of the cards i feel like it would be so cute i know uno has done like lots of collabs they had like a spongebob one i'm pretty sure and a few others this is a murakami collab so that's this side of the card and then on the other side they're just like so many cool different prints <gasps> i'm so happy right now you guys you know where i really want to go i really want to go on holiday to japan again they have this little bakery where they sell murakami cookies and i follow that account and everything just looks so cute like wouldn't that be the nicest gift to buy for someone because you just i know want to buy them something cute from japan but yeah these are the cards i'm gonna have a better look at them later okay let's move on to some other stuff in the box i can see more snacks so this one here are uh, apple rings and then we also have some baby bears i love gummy bears so much and i've actually stopped buying them because i will eat the whole packet so i'm trying to refrain myself but look at these these are just little baby bears i'm gonna have a few now if i can actually open this up what am i doing what what what's going on <laughs> they're actually the tiniest little gummy bears mm -hmm. moving on we have this other box which <gasps> okay i remember what this is now so this is when verdi did a collaboration with human made i actually really wanted the varsity jacket but it sold out immediately and it was actually pretty expensive but i couldn't get my hands on it so as usual i like panicked and then just ended up adding random stuff from that collection to the cart and just checked out and one of the things that i got is let's open this up is this mug it's actually pretty cute look at this i can't remember how much i paid but this is actually really really nice i do enjoy myself some hype mugs i just like buying mugs you guys know by now i just like buying random things but i'm actually really really happy with this mug the quality is actually really nice you can see here it says human made in that signature verdi kind of typeface and that little character is here and then from that collection i also picked up a little like scalp brush look at this so it says girls don't cry and it's essentially just a little sculpt brush so i don't know whether i will really actually use this but i think it's actually nice to just have it like in your bathroom like as decor i think that looks super cute so it's in like this rubberized texture again this wasn't even that expensive either it was just one of the moments where i panicked and i was like i think i'll just get that and then added that to cart i also bought some t-shirts from that collection but i don't know whether I shipped it. No, I think I already got that. Okay, I shipped that to my friend's mom's address in Hong Kong at the time. So anyway, the next thing from Human Made that I want to show you is this Cause Made bag. So you guys know that I have like the smaller version. I use that all the time. It's actually so beat up now it's really dirty so i think i need to get it cleaned at some state so when they dropped this collection they released the bag in three sizes so there was like the tiny one that i have medium and large so this is the medium one and this is 
the size. I think it is a pretty decent size. When I first bought it, I thought this would be the one I would use the most, but obviously it's been in Singapore this whole time. <laughs> so I haven't been able to use it, but I ended up loving the tiny one that I have. Actually, I might show you guys. There's just a lot of stuff in there. Give me one second. This is the small size that I use all the time. I'm not gonna put it too close because you guys can probably see how dirty it is. I think this is actually the perfect size for me. And then this one is the, oh my God, you can't even tell. This is the medium size. Let me show you guys that off. So this is the medium size. This is the little baby size. So they both say course made on one side. And then on the back, there's this little duck guy. I'm sure you guys can tell by now I really love the human made duck so they set duck guy here and now on the tiny one it just has the love heart the human made logo and it has the coarse signature sort of crosses so yeah I really really love these tote bags I think the quality is really good and yeah it's just a good everyday kind of bag so I cannot wait to use this there's two more little snack thing which I've never seen before it is like a tasty biscuit. What is this? It kind of looks like a version of Pocky, but like without the chocolate maybe. I'm not too sure. Let's open this up. I cannot thank you enough, Anson. Thank you so much for sending me all these little treats. You guys know that I love snacks and I love food. So these ones here are just little biscuits. Mmm. These are yum. I've never had these before, but yeah, they're just sort of plain milk. Biscuits, I think I'm making this up, but they taste really good. Just imagine like pokey without like the chocolate covering, but thicker. Moving on, actually no, let me finish this first. Mm. And then, this is a little surprise as well, because this is not something that I purchased. I can see that this is a little key shape. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a little course companion keychain. Look at this. How cute. I love it. I actually have the accomplice in this range is like the little pink bunny looking guy i used to have him like on my phone when i had the charm on but he started getting like really dirty so then i just removed it because i didn't want to like ruin the little keychain and now i have this little companion guy so thank you so much this is very very cute Again, I mean, you guys are watching this unboxing, so you know how much I love Kors. And it's actually been a minute since Kors has dropped anything. Am I the only person that thinks that? I feel like last year, it was every other week, there was some sort of Kors drop, like new figure, new collab, new this, new that. My bank account was so sad because every week I was just like, okay, must cop, must cop, must cop. And then this year, I feel like it's slowed down a little. The only thing that I really want are the cereal boxes that he's done. They don't sell that in Australia. Sadly, I know there are four different ones. I've never tasted those cereals, first of all. And then I think you get a little toy, right? Or you have to enter something to get the little toy. I don't know. But I really, really want those. And I tried to get the cereal off StockX because, well, that was my first thought. I was like, if I can't get it because I'm not in America, I might as well just buy it online. And StockX doesn't ship it here to Australia. I'm not sure whether it's because like it's a food product. That is why it doesn't ship. So... Yeah, I still don't have those cereals. I think that would be nice. And I actually want to eat the cereal because I've never had them before. And they look really yummy. I think there's like a blueberry one, like a strawberry one. And the characters that he's done for them all look super, super cute. Okay, anyway. Let's get back to... I nail. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. In here is... I already know what it is. It is a bottle of water. And it is the Murakami and Piria water bottle, so was it in 2020 or 2021 that I was obsessed with these Murakami water bottles. If you watch one of my older vlogs, I was going to Coles trying to buy all the water and then Anson also shipped some to me from Singapore and if you guys didn't know, shipping water is very very expensive um, and I actually still have like all the bottles of water from 2020 was it 2020 i can't remember when it released but i just haven't opened them because i just kind of want to keep them so at this stage i'm just a water bottle hoarder but yeah this is really really pretty so i'm gonna add that to my little collection and then last but not least there's one last thing 
in this box, let me set this aside, taking up too much room. This is the hoodie from the very first course human made collab. In this drop, I picked up a lot of the t-shirts. I'm sure you guys have seen them. I wear them all the time. I actually really like the quality of the human made t-shirts. The material sort of has a vintagey kind of vibe and because it's course, obviously I had to get it. So I got this in a size large because I wasn't sure what size I'll be because in human made sizing, it's Japanese sizing. So I find that it's it's kind of small so this is a large it doesn't actually look very big this kind of looks like a size medium like a nike solo swoosh kind of medium where it fits a little bit oversized i'm glad that i went for a size large anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing segment i've made a mess as always you can't really see but it's really messy down here right now for all the packaging and stuff but yeah again big shout out to anson for shipping these to me like going through the effort to just putting this parcel together i really appreciate it like i said there will be some sneaker unboxing slash reviews in this video but the sneakers are not here yet so i can't do that but i will definitely get it at some stage this week maybe tomorrow so i'll find some time to film the unboxing show you guys on feet and stuff um and then i bought one other thing online yeah from cdg so hopefully it arrives as well anyway I will see you guys when I get my sneakers, so hopefully tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's been a few days and I finally have some sneakers so I can sit down and do an unboxing together with you guys. And you'll also notice I'm wearing the exact same jumper because I was wearing this hoodie before but I was getting so hot and I feel like my face was so sweaty. So I decided to change out of that. But I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I was wearing. So in the thumbnail you can see that I'm wearing this because it is the new Nike Billie Eilish capsule collection so she essentially dropped the same thing in a different colorway last year I want to say it was sort of in this tan mushroom kind of color but this time around it is in this deep sort of olive green and it's called Sequoia and I definitely prefer this colorway over the first drop and I just wanted to tell you guys that the sizing is very oversized for the apparel so it's kind of like Nike Solar Swish sizing I have this in a size small and it does look quite baggy on me I thought I'd come on here just to show you guys the rest of the apparel in this range just so you can get a better idea of sizing I'm wearing the t-shirt in a size small and as you guys can see it's quite oversized it's quite a boxy kind of cut and it's actually quite long I have it tucked in but I don't know if you can tell let me try and pull this down it's actually like really really long that is why I have it tucked in because this kind of looks a little bit weird but I prefer how it fits around the shoulders because I tried the extra small and it like does fit but you guys know that I prefer like quite an oversized kind of fit so I went for a size small this is what it looks like and it has the same like vertical Nike swoosh in this rubberized texture and I like that the sleeves aren't like really short or anything like that with the sweatpants I am wearing an extra small I think that's the smallest it comes in it does have drawstrings so you can tighten it if it's too loose around the waist and I like that there are zip pockets here so it's nice and cozy the material is a really nice thick fleece so it is very very cozy and let me put on the hoodie quickly to show you guys also just ignore my slides this is the hoodie in a size small i could have gone for an extra small but i just prefer it to be a little bit more oversized with the size extra small i found that it was a little bit tight like around like this area around my waist so i prefer it to sit like a bit more straight if that makes any sense and yeah again the hoodie is the same material as the sweatpants so it's really nice and warm and thick and just like so comfortable and I love this colorway I feel like I won't always wear like the full fit together but I really like the color of the hoodie so I can definitely see myself wearing this more and I like how the Billie Eilish like branding isn't super obvious so there is the Billie Eilish like typeface here but other than that it kind of just looks like a plain hoodie and because I have it sort of folded in you can't really see the Billie Eilish branding from the back but yeah this is a size small in most of my men's hoodies I always get a size medium just so it looks a bit oversized but with this one I got a size small 
and it already looks kind of big so yeah hopefully that's somewhat helpful and let's get back to the unboxing if you guys are thinking about picking up anything from the collection just keep that in mind if it's quite big I'm extra small in the sweatpants and then in the t-shirt I got a size small because I want it like a boxier kind of fit but it is quite long on me um, so yeah that is a little bit about the Billie Eilish um, Nike clothing I do have the sneakers as well which I'll show you guys later but First of all, I wanted to talk about the Nike, wait, this is wrong, the Nike Craft Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoes. And I'm so happy that I managed to get a pair. This is the Archive colorway. The first colorway that they dropped, I definitely prefer that one. And when they did the release on the Tom Sachs website, you had to key in your email and then they would randomly select emails to send the link to so that you can purchase the sneakers and the only thing is though the link only works for like half an hour and so i put in my email and decided to go to bed because i was thinking like nah there's so many people that's gonna enter this i'm probably not gonna get it so i went to bed and then the next morning when i woke up i actually got sent the link okay guys so i could have bought a pair but i was out here sleeping okay i was prioritizing my sleep over these sneakers and I shouldn't have done that. So anyway, we are now here. We have the archive colorway, so I'm not mad about that. I've already worn these and posted a photo on my Instagram. So this is what the sneaker looks like, and I actually really like the colorway. It's sort of like a deep mustard color, and I love the orange pull tabs on the sneaker. And on the back here, you can see it says Nike, but in sort of this handwritten kind of script, which I think looks really playful and really fun. Sizing-wise, I got this in a women's A, so you notice on the box of the sneaker, the women's sizing is on top and then here's the men. On a lot of the websites that drop them, they did state it as a women's release. But I think Nike and Tom Sex only did that just so that the sizing is more inclusive. And so you have like smaller women's sizes to like larger men sizes. The idea of this sneaker is to make it readily available. So I know in the States, they dropped it at Coles, which I think it's really, really cool. It is definitely not readily available here so they dropped it at supply and they ran a raffle for them hopefully the other colorways will be much easier to get i know that they will be dropping a brown colorway if i'm not mistaken so i got these in a women's us 8 men's us 6.5 so that's half a size up from my shooter size and it does fit a little bit big so it is a bit roomy lengthwise so i would say they fit true to size because i think if i just went for my regular men's us 6 it would have been good I think yeah I've been getting quite a few questions about sizing with the sneakers and I'm afraid I can't give you an accurate sizing like size guide kind of thing because I didn't even go true to size but yeah they definitely fit big so I think I would have been alright if I just stuck like true to size so hopefully that was a little bit helpful the only reason why I went half a size up because I thought that it was a women's release I find that women's sneakers tend to be like a little bit more narrow so I prefer like a wider kind of fit so I went half a size up but I've come to the conclusion that even though it's a women's release it's pretty much just like a unisex release I find it really weird how we still have to differentiate between like men and women's releases I feel like we should just make it like unisex okay guys because people get confused with their sizing and sometimes I <laughs> get confused with my sizing I'm so used to like knowing my men's US sizing every time people like ask me about women's sizing I like kind of take a while to think about it and I'm like yes Yes, you have to add one and a half, yes, or subtract, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> back to these sneakers. Tom Sachs designed this sneaker with practicality in mind. He designed it with working people in mind, like people working in the studios, photographers and stuff like that, and he just wanted them to have something that you can wear like from day to night, and obviously it has to be comfortable and practical. And there was a little quote that I read that he said, Quote, the value of these shoes are simply about having less so you can do more. And when I read that, I was like, having less? I just bought a new pair of shoes. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe at some point in my life, I'll try and minimize my sneaker collection. I will get there one day. But at the moment, I'm just out here trying to buy all the shoes still. Comfort-wise, I don't find them to be like the most comfortable sneaker. But they're not uncomfortable either. Like I said, I've worn these twice now. Overall, I really like the colorway of the sneaker, the design of it. It does have a very Nike kill shot kind of a look. Another thing that I love is the design of the box. I think it's very cute and quirky. Again, very in line with 
of Tom Sex Aesthetic. And then inside you can see there is some writing here as well. And it says Nike craft shoes are manufactured to the exact specifications of champion athletes throughout the world. The design and construction of Nike craft products support all the activities of your life and tell your story. Nike craft shuns innovation for its own sake but embraces it as a necessity. Top quality products fulfill their intended purpose while remaining as hard wearing as possible. Before recycling, there is reuse. Before reuse, there is durability. Well, I feel like that's the first time I actually read it properly. When I first got the sneakers, I was just too excited about the sneakers. I didn't even really read that. But that's very good. I like it. Um, another thing about durability reminds me of like what I read about it. So obviously the sneaker is designed to last. And I think he said that the way the outsole is made, if you do wear it out, you can actually change the outsole. I mean like go to like a cobbler or something to get the outsole changed, which is really cool. I'm excited for the other colorways that are going to drop and I'm hoping that it becomes a lot more readily available here in Australia because like I said, it, it was not. Oh, also price point wise, the retail was 150 Australian dollars, which is really affordable, which I really like because I think Tom Sachs wanted to create an affordable pair sneakers as well because unlike his previous drops they were pretty expensive not to mention the resale prices on them are crazy but I'm happy that I have something Tom Sex in my sneaker collection you know one day guys one day we will get those Mars Yards but for now we have the GPS and I'm not mad and also how cute is this box okay moving on I'm back in this hoodie because it is the next day I decided to take a break from filming yesterday and I don't know what happened and I never got back to filming so I'm here to continue on with this unboxing and I wanted to show you guys the Billie Eilish Nike Air Force Ones. I'm sure you guys already know what these look like but they are essentially so the <laughs> straps are like half off but let me put them back they are essentially the same sneaker or silhouette that she released last year in a different colorway so last year it was the mushroom colorway purpose last year. Anyway, I'll look it up. So this time around, it is called the Sequoia colorway and it is a really nice dark olive green. And this sneaker is designed with sustainability in mind. So at least 8% of Nike grind material is in the midsole. The upper of the sneaker is constructed with synthetic nubuck that's also made out of recycled content. This synthetic nubuck actually looks pretty good. Like it's nice and buttery and it's soft. Another detail you'll notice here on the lace dubre is the Billie Eilish little blush guy. Is that how you pronounce it? Okay, guys, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't know too much about Billie Eilish. I know she's like an artist, but other than that, I don't really follow like her work or like her style or anything like that. I just thought the color of the sneakers were cool and I wanted to show you guys in case some of you guys are interested in this release. But yeah, okay, I'm not trying to say I'm like a big Billie Eilish fan or anything. I'm just very neutral about her. She's cool. And I think it's cool that she's had a lot of collabs with Nike and I'm sure there's more to come. Back to these sneakers. Another signature detail would of course be the five straps on here. And these were apparently inspired by like the air trainers and also the Alpha Force Lows and they're just a lot of straps. I'm just gonna say if you're in a hurry these are probably not the sneakers that you want to try put on because as I was putting these on the other day it took me so long to put them on guys because you have to undo the straps and then there's also the laces and you guys know how it goes with high top sneakers like sometimes it can be a little bit tricky trying to put it on because you have to like loosen the laces up here and then put your foot in and lace it up but anyway, when you have them on feet, they actually look pretty cool. And I really like the hardware of the sneaker as well. I like how they've made everything tonal. So you can see the buckles here in this deep olive. Another detail that I want to show you guys, actually, I'll grab the other shoe out, is the... Wait, oh here yeah. <laughs> is the insole of the sneaker. I think this is probably made out of recycled material as well. I could be wrong, but it's sort of in this very lightweight foam material. And you can see the Nike and Billie Eilish co-branding. And then a hidden detail on this sneaker is when you remove the insole, you can see a little quote on the inside and it says, it's hard to stop once it starts. And it is the same quote you'll see on the box as well. Sorry, let me 
put this paper bag. So you can see here on the box, it also says the same quote on both sides. And then, yeah, with the box, I think it's the same as the first release. Sizing wise, I got a men's US 6. I find that with Air Force Ones, they usually fit a little bit big. But for these ones, I just went true to size because it is a high top and they feel fine. Like they didn't feel big or anything. So I'm not very sure whether you should just go true to size with these ones. But I think even if you go with your regular Air Force sizing, you should be fine. But I didn't get a chance to try like a five and a half. So I just went true to size and they feel good. And because like there's so much straps and laces going on your feet just feels really secure so even if it's a little bit roomy it's totally fine so yeah those are the Billie Eilish Air Force Ones and I also have two more sneakers to show you guys actually before that I have a little CDG haul so CDG recently did a collab with Pokemon wait you can't see it's Pokemon and you can see there's a little Pikachu here so I picked up two t-shirts I'll take it out of the bag to show you guys I was a little bit confused about sizing because you know with CDG it's Japanese sizing sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of CDG t-shirts because they fit a little bit small but then they can be quite long and then the sleeves are sometimes quite short I think I'm just used to like boxier t-shirt so when anywhere else has like a standard t-shirt I'm just like confused with my sizing so for these ones I got a size extra large and I got this from the CDG website I was actually on Dover Street's online store and then somehow it just linked me to this separate CDG 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 website it's like literally that's the link cdg 3 timescom or something like that I'll make sure to list and link everything that I talk about in this video in the description bar below if you guys are interested but I got the CDG t-shirt it got shipped pretty quickly from Japan and the main reason why I got it is because of this little Pikachu guy with the CDG branding I think that's super cute and this is like an extra large and I would say the fit is like a pretty standard kind of t-shirt cut because this doesn't look like too oversized on me it is a little bit long though so anyway I'll make it work but I'm happy that I managed to get this I'm pretty sure there's still plenty on the website moving on I have two more sneakers to show you guys and these are essentially the same pair of sneakers just in different colorways I don't know if you guys can guess but I've been wanting these sneakers for a really long time wait I want to show you guys this one first and I was initially just gonna get one okay I was trying to be good and the one that I really really wanted was this colorway so it is the New Balance 2002 RS in the refined future or protection pack protection pack is not the right name but I feel like that name kind of just stuck with everyone um, but it is called the refined future and they dropped it in this colorway and also this colorway and then I ended up getting both um, yeah, we're here now, but they're both really nice colorways, so I couldn't say no. You guys know that I've been waiting for this particular colorway to drop for the longest time, and it looks exactly how I imagined it to be. I really love the combination of color in this sneaker. It's got a really nice, like, dusty, movie kind of pink, along with, like, some purple tones, darker pink, and it's just a really nice colorway in my opinion, and yeah, I'm just so happy that I finally have them. The other colorway is more so so like a like baby blue sort of purpley kind of color I hope I'm doing a good job at describing the colors but you guys can see this is actually a little bit more wearable in my opinion I feel like these would look really good with like black pants or even some denim I think that would look pretty fresh whereas this one I personally would wear a lot because you guys know I love me some pink sneakers but between the two I feel like this is definitely more of an everyday kind of sneaker sizing wise I went true to size so I got a men's US 6 and some of my friends told me that they found this particular 2002 R to fit a little bit big I didn't think so well I didn't get a chance to try like the half size smaller I just ended up going for size 6 so I was like yeah they fit fine they fit good so I'm assuming if you go for your regular 2002 R sizing you should be fine let me give you guys another closer look at the upper of the sneaker I think it is just so pretty and these weren't even that difficult to get I feel like a lot of stores had them this is technically a general release so like Hype DC had them subtype up there all those stores had them and the quantities are pretty high so it shouldn't be too difficult for you to get your hands on a pair because I highly highly recommend them and I'm actually happy that 
they didn't like sell it immediately because for people who really want a pair you'll be able to get them and this is the other colorway that I'll just show you um, a little bit closer so you guys can get an idea of the colorway but I think it is such a fresh colorway and I am so happy to add these to my like protection pack or refined future collection you guys know that I have the rain cult rain cult <laughs> The rain cloud colorway as well as the sea salt and I think out of everything No, wait, I also have the orange pair Sometimes I forget I have that pair because I wore it once and then now it's somewhere It's somewhere in this apartment and I don't know where it is But out of all the colorways that they've dropped in the refined future pack My favorite colorway is definitely like the first drop which is the rain cloud colorway I think that one's a classic the mix of grays is just so beautiful and I should probably wear them more but anyway at some stage I'm gonna start wearing these these are completely brand new I've just like tried them on feet because when I was buying them I couldn't decide which one so I tried them both on and then I ended up buying both of them so yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing video and I hope this video isn't too long um, what else do I want to tell you guys oh the other day the course one site dropped like a bunch of stuff from the course monsters you know that serial collab and it was not necessary for me to wake up at 3 a.m. because it was dropping at 12 p.m. like Eastern Standard Time which is 3 a.m. here in Australia and so you guys know that I'm always afraid things are going to sell out so I woke up at 3 a.m. and I tried to buy some stuff from the Cause One site and they wouldn't ship the cereal to Australia so I was kind of sad about that and then I was adding so many t-shirts into my cart and the shipping was pretty expensive it's 73 US dollars I was putting too many things in my cart and like the total price was a bit much you know it was like almost $600 and I was like okay I gotta chill I'm not out here trying to spend this money at like 3am in the morning so I only ended up getting two t-shirts and the poster so I'm pretty excited because I realized yesterday when I looked at the dimensions of the posters actually pretty big so I'm thinking of maybe framing them up and putting them somewhere up in my apartment I think that would look really cute so I'm excited for that parcel to come it should be here shortly because not gonna lie shipping was pretty expensive okay but I feel like there was no other way okay I have to get it because it's coarse um, but yeah that's pretty much it for me today guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon bye